Welcome back. It's now time for our crypto and digital asset update with Bobby Del Rio, the host of The Daily Drop. So the crypto market um, has actually rebounded quite significantly for anyone who hasn't been paying attention. Uh, in fact, if you look over the last 30 days, Bitcoin uh, and many, many altcoins, which are essentially cryptocurrencies that are not Bitcoin, um, are are increasing anywhere from 30% to 200% in the last month. So there, there really is uh, quite a lot of momentum for the crypto markets right now. Now, again, crypto is notoriously volatile. So one never knows exactly which direction the markets are going to head. But I will say in the cryptocurrency industry, uh, it is widely believed that this is the beginning of a bull run. Um, which is quite exciting. So anyone who's been paying attention to the crypto market over the last 18 months uh, has seen a lot of despair <laughs> and, um, you know, the cryptocurrency market essentially collapsed um, over the last year, year and a half. But especially over the last, let's say, four to six weeks, um, you've seen very, very significant gains, particularly with altcoins like Solana and Avalanche. Um, but really, it kind of depends on the day. Um, it's definitely a good time to pay attention to the cryptocurrency market because you, you know there's not really any other investments I don't I don't see in the world that have the gains that crypto has right now. So it's de it's definitely a good time if you've got a, an exchange and you've got some funds in there and you haven't taken a look at your crypto assets in a while. It's it's, it's probably a good idea to to check in. Uh, speaking of checking in, um, it looks like the SEC is finally checking in with Bitcoin ETFs. In the United States, what's interesting is that here in Canada, uh, we already have several Bitcoin ETFs. We actually have Ethereum ETFs as well um, for years, but in the U.S. market, uh, they have they have not implemented uh, spot Bitcoin ETFs. But it is widely believed by perhaps as early as next month or January, um, we we may see a few different uh, Bitcoin ETFs in the United States. And that is widely expected to boost institutional investment um, by a, a wide margin, um, which would have the um, benefit of boosting the crypto markets even more. And again, in the last month, you've seen cryptocurrencies go up from anywhere from 30 to 200%. And that means if this spot Bitcoin ETF or a few of them get approved, you, you may see much higher gains, um, you know, which, you know, if you're, if you're new to crypto, maybe that sounds um, unlikely, but it, it, these are the kind of numbers um, that, that are in the crypto markets for a long time. So it's, again, like now is a really, really good time to pay attention. Speaking of paying attention, uh, you got to pay attention to AI as well. So there was a new startup uh called channel one and you know for those of us in the new space we are definitely paying attention because this is going to be an entire news network run by ai so you're going to have ai generated news anchors news generated through ai i mean it's a bit of an experiment but it's really interesting they sort of have a combination of um ai driven content plus humans but they can do a thing where certain newscasters like me all of a sudden um, will start speaking in other languages and and they can like affect the the mouth and the voice so it sounds seamless so obviously for those of us in the news space it's um it's somewhat terrifying but also very intriguing uh so we'll see how that goes speaking of intriguing um the sag after strike has come to an end sort of because there's now a lot of controversy specifically around the AI protections or lack thereof. Um, and that agreement is still being voted on by its members apparently all the way up until December. And uh, Justine Bateman from Family Ties fame, who uh, now is also a, um, a director uh, and quite, quite a brilliant uh, mind for, for analyzing technology. Uh, and she's got quite, um, quite a few damning uh, criticisms of the deal. And so there's quite a, a bit of controversy right now regarding SAG-AFTRA's AI protections. Um, so AI is disrupting everything. 
um, as is crypto, but you definitely want to pay attention right now on Bobby Del Rio. That is your crypto AI update. Thanks for that, Bobby. And that was Bobby Del Rio with Forum Daily's Crypto and Digital Asset Update.